are on day three of the weather being amazing. We sat outside until like 9.15 last night and I'm on a long sleeve this morning. It's a little chilly. It's gonna be like 55 degrees tonight and it's gonna be, it's like almost July, which is amazing. I enjoy the really hot weather like for a little bit because it does get so cold here in the winter and I feel like it did not warm up <laughs> here until June. I am gonna enjoy not sweating to death today. Hello, giraffe. Hello, papa. And these guys are loving it. Are you guys just so excited? It's a lot of hormones. All the babies are gone except for Chai. Uh, we sold Andy yesterday, so that is awesome. So we are done selling baby goats, at least for now. I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna do with Chai today. See, is she staying? Is she going? What What is the plan with her? So to milk twist for the first time today. And so this week I'm gonna decide which four girls I'm keeping to milk for the summer. And so we're gonna look. Nani had nurse chai yesterday. So Sunday night, Ryan came and picked up. Her channel's linked at the bottom if you wanna go watch because she did a video while she was here. Picked up chai, Miracle, Marshmallow, and Chunk. And so chai moved back in with the mama goats. And yesterday when I got Nani on the stand, she had let Chai nurse at least on one side of her udder. So we're gonna check her again today because it did not look like yesterday she had nursed. We'll see. Good morning. So I moved Chai back in because I knew somebody was coming to pick up Andy yesterday. Instead of, if I'd had no bites on Andy, I probably would have just moved him in with Chai and let them stay weaning. But also the boys are kind of running out of grass with it being so hot. So this is actually gonna work out better for everyone. Are you enjoying your breakfast? We're enjoying our breakfast, mom. feeding them in bowls or I can still use the feeder for them because I can spread them out now where before I could not do that. So today I'm gonna let them come in here for the day and then I'm gonna start pushing the girls out into the nets more now that all the babies other than Chai are gone just because everybody's looking really good worm wise. I would like to get them off this before they turn it into dirt. The pigs are not leaving this area because of the shade. Today it's gonna be super cool. It will be the perfect day for them to be out of those two pens for a while. So they actually pushed, I did this the other day when they moved waffles and they pushed through it and it was a whole big mess. So hopefully we'll kind of test this out today. I don't think anybody's in heat, so I don't think it'll be an issue and it may rain. Okay, are you guys ready for breakfast? Hopefully they'll enjoy that. So it's so nice out here right now. It is sprinkling, just a tad. You guys ready? We ready for breakfast? Hmm. No. Yes. Okay, let's have breakfast.
So if you're curious, it took 20 minutes total to do that. I know I speed up milking in video. It takes 20 minutes to milk six goats. So it's about four minutes per goat, like a little bit less, three to four minutes a goat with the milk machine. It's actually easier to milk all six of them sometimes because you don't have them trying to push into the milk room. She doesn't really want to come in. She just wants a cookie. Uh, and this is my cookie monster. You guys know that my link is my cookie monster. Aren't ya? You said it's weak boy. We gotta go get that horn trimmed again. This is what we're getting is this should really be full. Nani is nursing Chai on one side, so we will stop milking her. So this is a half a gallon. And so that was four goats. So this is Twiz. Pixie, Padme, and Poppy, and they all, Pixie gives a little bit less than two cups, and then Poppy gives a little bit more, so it kind of evens out. Zelda gave me two solid cups today, and so what I'm trying to do is figure out, I want this. I don't really need this extra, and so um, can I milk four goats, get a full half gallon, and be happy, and not milk six goats? That would only take me about 15 minutes, and that would be better for me just time-wise instead of, I know it's only five minutes, but I don't need the extra milk and I could probably milk Twiz, Zelda, Padme, and Poppy and get a full half gallon with a little bit of extra. So as milk production decreases, I still get about half gallon and not milk Pixie and Nani. I'm not gonna milk Nani past today. She's nursing Chai and that's the goal. So let's go feed the milk to the pigs today. Pigs will be happy, happy, happy. Are you excited? Are we gonna have some milk? We're gonna have some milk. We will keep some of the milk, but I'll probably always give the pigs the milk on video days because it's fun to see them. Nobody needs water this morning because it's been cool. It's too cool for pigs to go for a swim for sure this morning. Yeah, you're enjoying it. I need to brush you a little bit. He's actually doing pretty good. He needs a bath, but he shed most of the undercoat, so he's not really suffering in the heat. And that's the thing about Pyrenees is their coat actually keeps them cool, so you don't really want to shave them. He just usually goes for a bath, and then they uh, do a de-shed and a trim. All right, let's let you guys out for the day. Let's let you guys out for the day. Yeah, come on. You got full water buckets. Hi, Chai Chai. Hi, little girl. Let's go. Come on, babies. It's sprinkling, so this is probably not going to last long. Come on. We oh, can't go out there. That's where they want to go. Come on! Let's go! Let's go, go! Whenever we get our um, garage done and I can take down that temporary fence that we have up, I'm gonna take it and put it down here and block off this corner so that they can't just overeat that spot. It's really frustrating. They have all this grass, all these weeds, all these fun things to eat, and they all go in that. Come on! Pepper has started yelling. I do not know what that's about. Come on, Pep! Come on, Chai Chai! Come on, Chai Chai! Yeah, this is where we should be. Come on! Come on, Chai Chai! <laughs> She's like, ah, you left me! Is this everybody? Gosh, it feels like there's so few goats. No Zelda. Come on, Chai! Come on! Mom! Mom! There's Zell. Come on, Zelly! And mom's talking to her, so that's good. Come on, Chai! Oh, had to take a tinkle break. Here comes Zelda. Giraffe, doing giraffe things. Come on! She can't see her. Chai Chai! Chai Chai, come on! Mama's right here! Oh, not everybody. Now, let's stay out here. 
We'll stay out here. Come on, Chad. Oh, I don't want him to all run back up to the barn. She'll figure it out in a minute. Come on! I think she's scared of Zelda. Not Zelda, of Daisy and Link. Everybody headbutted her pretty good when we moved her back in. Um, and not part of it because she was gone for two weeks. They kind of uh, were not very nice, but they didn't hurt her. They just kind of were like, nope, you can't be around me. You can't sleep here. You're not gonna eat the food and it took mom a couple of hours like almost a day really to like oh this is still my baby and to start taking care of her again but once Nani kind of figured out oh this is my baby it all worked out I really want them to stay out there bunny's drying up nicely I moved Nani to um the end of the milking order because she is so hard to get out of the milk room that was why everybody was like storming the milk room was because she wouldn't go out she just stands there and so you have to like almost throw her out I don't know where we're going where are we going? It's raining. It helps if she's last. And if you put your more dominant goats in the front of the order, and like today I pulled Twiz in first because she hadn't been milked before, just to kind of like, hey, you can come in now. Uh, and then Pixie jumping in front. <laughs> Zelda is usually my pushiest. So what's the plan with Chai? I guess let's go out here and see her since the goats are just being ridiculous. They're all gonna run that way. And I don't really know why. Like, we're all gonna run back. So little Chai Latte is Nani's baby. So Nani had Chai and Mocha. We talked about, when I talked about keeping a doling, that I would probably have kept Mocha. I don't really have any intentions of che keeping Chai long-term, but she is gonna be here for the summer. So that's what I've decided. And let me explain why. She was one of the very first babies born. So, and it's hard to tell now that all the other babies are gone. Marshmallow and S'more were the only two that were older than her. So she was born like in February, the very last week in February, first week in March. And she is still the tiniest baby. She has just not grown as well as even her sister. Like her sister was much bigger than she was when she left last week. And she's kind of got this weird pot belly thing going on, like I weaned her too early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our the sweetest. I love you, Nani. I love Nani. I don't have a girl out of Donnie. Hi, hi, Dottie. Hi, my sweet Dottie kitten. No. They just want to eat, Mom. You can stay out. You can. Kitties. The reason I don't really want to keep her is all of my does are three years old and older. So she would be three years younger than Padme, who is my youngest, and Tink. And so for me, that means she would be really our last goat left if, you know, all our goats died of old age. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute, and she's real sweet and friendly. She loves to cuddle and scratch. Um, and you can't really tell, maybe this afternoon we'll tell. She kind of had this like little bowling ball shape. She's very tiny. Uh, she should be probably about five pounds heavier than she is. She, I mean, she's had her coccidia prevent. I don't think we're dealing with parasites. She just hasn't grown as well. Mom doesn't like me touching her for some reason. Uh, I'm sorry. And so, and she my socks. I am gonna keep her through August at least. Let her stay with mom. Let mom nurse her a little bit longer. Not milk Nani. Let her nurse. Just get her in better shape. And then try to sell her in the fall. It, based on like how I see her growing. And so if she grows out pretty well with some extra nursing, some extra time with mom. Those are, those are mine, thank you. Then we'll sell her. If she doesn't, we may keep her, not breed her. Just kind of see. I just think it's one of the reasons people haven't wanted her is because she just doesn't have the greatest confirmation yet. She's still little, so we don't really know. Mom has great confirmation, so just, 
and it's so hard to tell, but she's been looking like a little bowling ball. She's looked much better having some milk. And so it just may be that she was a little bit underdeveloped, needed to be with mom longer, needed milk a little bit longer to put weight on. And so that's what we're gonna do for the next two months. We'll keep her, see if we can kind of get her bigger and stronger and better, and then see if we can find her a new home or decide if we wanna keep her. So staying for now. There's no ad listed with her for sale in it, um, unless somebody reaches out to me and just wants her. Welcome to the family little chai latte. 